Hi, it's Ashali here. I'm at Stanford Bridge. I've just been to Laurent Blanc's and Zlatan Ibrahimovic's press conference. And as you can see behind me, the PSG players are currently taking part in an open training session ahead of the game against Chelsea tomorrow. Now, the biggest thing that really came out of the press conference was that uh, Blanc isn't sure whether or not Marco Verratti will win his fitness race in time to play against Chelsea. Yeah, he'll be assessed today and then Laurent Blanc will make a late decision, which could be a huge boost for for Chelsea fan Matuidi Miwa has travelled he is on the pitch at the moment but we'll know a little bit more later on whether or not he will also play against Chelsea So Good Sitting has just spoken to the press alongside Gary Cahill and he's confirmed that Pedro will be fit enough to start against PSG tomorrow but while Diego Costa trained today um, alongside the rest of his Chelsea teammates he may face a late fitness test to start against PSG Hi so Charlie here it's race day at the Paris e Prix. and the drivers have all gone through their practice sessions and qualifying starts in about 10 minutes and the way the race works is very similar to Formula One um, but it's much shorter it lasts about an hour and drivers uh, take one pit stop in which they change cars they do not change tires they do not change batteries. Um, Gus Hiddick has talked about the need to give a lot of his players some rest especially with their congested uh, fixture that's coming up um, and I think there's only three main areas where you may see those changes happen. Um, up front, Diego Costa has been in fine form for Chelsea, of course, but with game against PSG and of course Everton to come, I think Gusti might opt to start Bertrand Traore up front against Norwich tonight, um, with Alexander Pato coming off the bench at some point. If it doesn't happen today, I think certainly the pair will get some game time. Hi, it's Charlie here at Stamford Bridge ahead of Chelsea's game with Manchester City. The atmosphere is building up nicely with an hour and a half to go, although there are not too many fans inside the stadium at the moment. Now, it's going to be an interesting clash considering at the start of the season, a lot of people thought that this game would be two teams going for the Premier League title, but it hasn't happened that way. Manchester City, of course, sit in fourth place in the standings, but their sights are firmly set on winning the Champions League, although they will be coming here looking for a win because they want to consolidate their position in fourth place, while Chelsea are in tenth place. They're out of the Champions League, they're out of the FA Cup, they're not going to defend their Premier League title, and European qualification now also looks um, unlikely. But they are here to play for pride, with incoming manager Antonio Conte set to be watching on.